I first met Michael Forresteri, oh, about uh, six years ago when he came to New Buffalo, Michigan for John Walsh's Training the Trainer course. And a whole group of us met there for that first time. One of the first things I found out about Michael is his generosity. He found out about my background as the Bulls mascot and said, you have got to use that. Never be ashamed to use that in your ministry. And so I do now. Uh, he will call me sometimes just out of the blue and say, hey, I just came up with this new way of training, or I just came up with this new idea for marketing, and he'll share it with me. And I have found this about him. He is so generous. Every time he's got something new that has worked for him, he immediately wants to call another storyteller and clue them in on it so they can use it too. Uh, he taught a whole workshop about using storytelling to uh, create better writers. And he just basically gave this away to other storytellers so that they could increase their business and their, their opportunities. And that's the kind of guy Michael is. So go take a workshop from him, listen to him tell. You will see the spirit pouring out of him. Michael Forestieri. I was in the midst of having my first book published and I got a phone call on my cell phone. Some man out in Delaware was, was wanting to get into professional storytelling. It turned out that he was a banker who had some background in acting, but God was leading him to go into professional storytelling and he didn't know anything about it. <laughs> Little did I know that that would start a lifetime of friendship between the two of us. I went out, I went out there, spent some time with him, and he came out to my house, and we worked together. Well, he has become a favorite. He comes to the conference every year, and he, he gives such practical, uh, down-to-earth steps on how to incorporate storytelling into your ministry. He has that mix of being a professional storyteller and someone who is totally dedicated to the Lord and to the Lord's ministry. People have always appreciated Michael and his workshops. I think you will too. Hi, I'm Buck Creasy. <laughs> Michael Forestieri. Now I gotta tell you about Michael. I love Michael. He's got workshops on marriage. He's got workshops on storytelling. He plays a harp. He plays uh, lots of other instruments. This guy is very talented and he's a wonderful storyteller. And you need to come out and hear him. He's gonna have some workshops for us to tell us about the art and craft of storytelling and you can see how you can use it immediately in ministry. That's what this entire workshop, the entire conference is about, is storytelling in ministry. Not storytelling for storytelling's sake, not fables and foolishness, no, no. This is about the ministry of storytelling. And Michael puts it to work every single day. He's a full-time minister, and he uses storytelling in ministry. Come out here, Michael Forrester at the 5th International Christian Storytelling and Ministry Conference in Georgetown, Kentucky, June 16, 17, 18, 2011, if this hangs out on the internet for a while. We'll see you there. Oh, Michael Forestieri. Yeah, my, my friend John Walsh introduced Michael and, and me. Matter of fact, John was, was thinking of the idea of planning uh, a national Christian storytelling conference, and Michael had attended one of John's uh, storytelling uh, workshops. Um, matter of fact, I think it was up in the Chicago area or somewhere, but, but Michael had attended that one. And I attended a following one, and one by one, John seemed to collect us drifters who liked to tell stories, and who in particular told Christian stories and wanted to bring us all together under one umbrella. Uh, ChristianStorytelling.com is where you'd find John's uh, website with all of his information. But I first met Michael then, learned he was a pretty fair harp player, a really good storyteller. He's got a great sense of humor. He tells biblical stories that are absolutely wonderful. 
And I understand he's got a pretty mean pirate gig that he does in some public schools once in a while. Although I can't really envision him going R at people with a pirate hat on. But, but yeah, I've known Michael now for several years. And he and I have done storytelling at the International Reading Association conference up in Minneapolis together.